everybody. Hey, can anybody hear me? Hello, 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 and welcome to Witchcraft Wednesdays, my favourite day of the week, because it is time to talk all things witchcraft with you lovely people who are tuning in right now. Um, now, this episode is actually going to be quite exciting. It's a little bit... Uh, uh, different from the last two that we've done because we're going to be doing two spells today, which is amazing. Um, and they are both very, very simple. I posted what you guys will need and I also said it in the previous video um, uh, to join in. And uh, yeah, no, I'm very excited. Oh, this is quite lovely. I'm all excited now. Um, but for those who don't know, Hello, my name's Mary. I'm incredibly new, also known as a baby witch um, when it comes to witchcraft. Um, I like making these videos just to talk about my own journey um, and to talk about what kind of things I'm practicing at the moment. Um, we do usually do spells and stuff like that, um, but I do only the most simple ones and usually the ones that don't require um, a lot more learning from somebody else, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for today uh, because we're going to be talking about all things love which is going to be amazing so i'm quite excited yes we're getting a little few people saying hello you've got uh, nicole from texas usa oh hello nicole from texas usa lovely for you to join on in oh i'm actually all quite excited for this uh, for this episode should i call it an episode or a part it's a witch a witch a witch um, Basically, you've got lots of people on already. There's over 200 people watching straight away. Oh, fantastic. Um, and they're all saying hello. Well, hello, 200 people. It's lovely that you're joining me for today. Um, now, we are going to be talking about uh, love spells in general because there is a bit of a... Um, I think that there's a bit of confusion when it comes to love spells. Um, there are some love spells that we're going to be doing today, which are very, that they're known to be um, more about attracting love into your life. Uh, they are the more uh, delicate, but also kind of relaxing spells. They don't require too much, just your intent and the ingredients that we have. Um, but also, you know, there's, there's a lot of stigma around love spells because you do have... Um, some where you can cast that onto a person um, and those sort of love spells I personally will be staying away from as I don't believe it's right to take away someone's free will um, and I think a lot of people do do that in a sense because uh, they want to gain some sort of attraction from one specific person who they fancy or who they want to be with so on and so forth but um, honestly, I think that doing an attraction love spell, which is where you just attract people who uh, might be your kind of type, might be someone who you'll get along with really, really well, and hopefully also attract those feelings into your life, which would be amazing. But um, no, apart from that, we're going to be focusing on more light magic when it comes to this sort of stuff. Um, I get that some witches, they do focus on doing dark magic, and if that's what you want to do, as long as you're not hurting anybody awesome um but for this one very very simple um, i'm looking forward to getting on with it so yeah before we do anybody saying hello there's lots of people saying hello you've got almost 300 people watching now oh lovely um, <laughs> yeah you've got people from all over all over the uk and and from lots of different countries oh um, fantastic edinburgh we've got obviously we've got scotland we've got wales we've got all over um uh, england we've got well just everyone saying hello and wishing you well Fantastic, fantastic. Well, shall we get on with our spell now? Well, actually, there's, there's one here which is a good question. Before we Ooh. start the spell, mm -hmm. uh, JR, he says, Hi Mary, is there any spell that you wouldn't do? Oh, that's a very good question. Want to clean up your bedroom quickly? That, yes, that one. But um, there are a lot of spells that require dark magic. Um, you can do a lot of spells that will harm people, will put them in peril. Um, will just bring bad fortune to them and I all and, and for me I very much believe in karma so whatever you put out into the universe you will get back um, and I think that I, I will always stay away from that no not only because it's not a nice thing to do but also because I don't want to be putting myself or my family in danger if I just don't like somebody um, but also you know like I said before there are a few spells that take away people's free will such as love spells um, and when it comes to love spells, you are literally, it's almost like you are taking away someone's attraction to somebody else and focusing that on you. All of a sudden they'll be getting dreams about you. And that is 
basically taking away they are their own feelings and putting your emotion into them which is uh if you don't have any consent to do that it's a no-go so i will not be touching anything dark anything nasty anything like that um mostly because i think that it's, it's nice to put positivity out and bring positivity in um so yeah I, i'm gonna mostly be focusing on uh, lighter spells especially because i'm quite the newbie um so yeah We've got a mystery mystery muggle has said uh, which is very lovely you are an, uh, you are amazing such an inspiration to the oh. witch, witching world oh thank you very very uh, much we've got a hello from canada as well oh that's really really lovely you've gone global i've gone global right, now, michael uh, michael wilson uh, for the kindness you you showed me and my wife last year and entertaining us all Please accept this little contribution towards your witchcraft journey. Journey that's ten pounds. Oh, thank you so, so, so Michael. much. That's so lovely of you, Michael. Thank you, and I'm glad that I met you at some point last year, which was really, really lovely. Um, but obviously, right now is a very, very difficult time for everybody, especially those who aren't able to work. Um, so please, you know, if you're going to put money towards somebody, please maybe think of a charity. That is so lovely that you've given that to me. Thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. But um, please just be, just be careful. <laughs> that's, that's what, do you, do you know what I'm trying to say? Um, yeah. So got, uh, also doing a super job from, uh, from Robert. Oh. Uh, and he sent, sent you nine nine. <laughs> Thank so you. Miss you guys. Robert, we miss you too. We miss you too, Robert. We miss you too. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's so lovely of you. Honestly, thank you. Um, just make sure that you're being safe and careful as well. But thank you so much. That is really, really lovely. Um, so, yeah, and I miss you too, Robert. I miss your smiling face. Um, anyway, right. I think it's time to list off the ingredients uh, that you guys uh, will need. If you've already got them, fantastic. If you are thinking, oh God, I can't remember what she said and, and she's live right now. What you will need for this attracting love spell, which is going to be the first one that we're going to be doing because we have two today. But our first one, uh, you will need your jar, your candle, which can be any colour, but white is always a good colour to use as it can replace anything. Uh, rosemary eggshells and dried rose petals. Now, for each of these things, the candle that is going to be used to seal our jar, which is why white candles are always quite good. Um, but other than that, that is just to keep all of that spell protected inside of there, um, which is the property of that. Rosemary, that in itself is positivity, bringing positive emotion, feeling your way. The eggshells, they are also not just for protection, but also bring more positive, positive emotion into your household, not just yourself. And the dried rose petals are the thing that are going to be attracting the love, um, the, the, the perhaps the the feelings that somebody is kind of growing they might grow a little bit quicker for you or there might be a new person that comes into your life um that will somehow be your 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 absolute dream boat as it were so um yes let's get cracking now what we're going to do i've already got my burning candle let me move things around a little bit i've already got my white candle burning right here it's a bit of a dobby one um so i can't really do it that Oh, there, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys. Hello, hello, hello. Um, so I've got my candle burning right there, um, which is going to be burning for the duration of um, this, just to make sure that we have lots of wax. Um, just just to agree, a few people are asking if there's anything else other than rose petals that you could use that can get in. When it comes to rose petals, I think the rosemary can be used as a lot of things, but the problem is with uh, the rose petals, if you have a pink candle or a red candle, because we're going to be using another spell that has that, you can dribble the pink or red wax into the jar instead. Um, because a pink or a red candle also has the same properties as bringing love into your life as rose petals do. So if you have any red or pink candles, Dribble the wax into there when we get to that step. Um, and if you don't, um, then you'll basically be making another protection jar. <laughs> so um, if you want to be more protected, then follow along anyway. Um, so 
let's get going. So light your white candle or whatever candle you have. Um, so you've got that there, got that burning away, get nice waxiness. Um, now, what you're going to do is, you're going to get, huh, look at my pestle and mortar, oh, that lovely Jackie got me. Um, now you're gonna get your pestle and mortar, and if you don't have one of them, grab a bowl or whatever, and you can use your hands to crunch in the eggshells, but just be careful because they can stick into your fingers a little bit. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding the eggshells into here. Now, if you see, I don't know if you can see that, there we go, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of skin bit here. Now, if you do have a bit of a bubble in that in the bottom of your head, you kind of want to sort of like scrape that out, which looks a bit disgusting, but we're going to have to do it anyway, um, just so you can get to the actual shell a little bit easier. And whilst we are de-skinning our eggs, <laughs> anybody saying anything, anybody questions or anything like that? Yeah, you've got... Um... Uh, lots of people saying, well done for starting this now. Um, Jane uh, Maxwell is saying that quartz crystal is for health, so she carries it in, or she does carry in the pocket. Um, there's a uh, lovely pestle of mortar, it's set up uh, from stone, good old Jackie. This is from Ruth Weir, great entertainment Wednesday. Oh, great Wednesday entertainment, thank you. Um, yeah, you've got a couple of people saying they, they, they couldn't get any rose petals. But obviously you've answered that, which is which is good. Just as long as... My thing is, the one thing I do love about witchcraft in general is the fact that most things can be replaced by something else. Um, like, I know that a lot of complex spells, they will need certain bits and bobs. Um, they will need, um, you know, a certain type of... Uh, rainwater that's been charged by a certain type of moon. Um, I know that, you know, you will have certain... Uh, spells that you can only really do on certain times of the month um, but while starting off with the simple spells which is what we're doing almost everything can be replaced with something else which is always interesting now I've only got a few of my eggshells in but I'm going to start crunching away ooh it's a bit like ASMR while you're doing that um, James uh, Rendler's said he loves your nails um, thank you wants to know uh, who was your inspiration in the book club well, Oh, that is a very good question. My inspiration. Ooh. My inspiration in witchcraft. It's a very difficult question. See, in the modern era of stuff, it's mostly trying to figure out who is um, reliable and who isn't. And I've seen, I follow many YouTubers and um, people who do... Um, uh, people who do a lot of witchcraft on that. I think the person who I rely most on, because she is, um, she is m m close to my own age, um, and she's been doing this for a longer time than me, and whenever I see her videos, it's always informative, is um, somebody who's on YouTube called Chaotic Witch Aunt. Um, so yeah, they're also on Instagram as that, and they are fantastic when it comes to giving information. Um, but... The one thing that when it comes to getting research and information is you always have to double check um, your research with something else. So if you see um, that basil is good for um, uh, bringing in um, love into your house in a book, um, you need to make sure that you will read that in something else and something else to make sure that it's fact. fact. Um, so give that a bit of a go when it comes to researching because there are so many people out there who will just say oh yes this type of bark means this because it's just what they have experienced on their journey it doesn't necessarily mean that it is fact um, whilst there are a lot of people who will who will do the exact same thing um but over and over again and uh, yeah uh, tony phillips is saying uh, that she wishes you well on your journey with the witchcraft but please uh, keep yourself protected from negative people. I think that's generally in life, isn't it? Yeah, as in there are spells that you can do um, that mostly come to um, getting rid of negative people into your life. And also when it comes to doing spells, um, quite a lot of the time, as long as you are positive and you are happy, especially when you're doing the bigger spells, um, you will need to protect yourself a lot more um, but as long as you're positive and you make sure that your intent is to only be positive and happy whilst doing a spell and to bring the right thing, um, then whilst you're doing a spell, you're mostly protected anyway. But of course, when you're doing more complicated spells, things that rely on energy, 
Uh, like intent that is when you'll probably need to start casting your circle um, so and I spoke about that I think if it wasn't last week it was the week before which was about casting a protection circle to make sure whenever you are uh, doing something like that you are protected um, we've just come in here we've got Helen has asked um, how do you do a love spell Mary and Mandy has asked you how, how many of your spells that you have done for yourself has, has worked well, um, ooh, the first question was about the love spell, which is what we are doing. Well, the attracting love spell is what we're doing right now. But an actual love spell um, to make somebody fall in love with you. I don't want to really know how to do that. I don't really want to be put in that situation of wishing somebody else to fall in love with me um, or something like that because I don't think that's fair. But with this, we are talking through the steps as we go along. So we're crunching our eggshells, keep on going, keep on going. And the other question was... So Mandy, and Mandy. Asked, um, how many spells that you've done for yourself have, have, has worked? Well, the one that we did last week uh, was to bring friends or, or bring new friends into your life, um, which is... That worked um, brilliantly within a couple of days because when it comes to spells, you don't know whether they're going to be working in the next few days, within a week or in a couple of whatever. You don't know when it's going to actually take um, take hold, as it were. But um, this one, I, I did this friendship spell that I did last week. Um, uh, a while before I actually did that. I know that sounds very confusing. Um, and that... I got messages from friends I hadn't heard from in, I'd say, years, years, old high school friends that I hadn't heard from in ages. And um, yeah, no, that was crazy because they started just popping up out of nowhere. And I've been talking to most of them ever since. And that has been amazing because we've already got plans to, uh, to, we've already got plans to meet up after all of this. Uh, so yeah, this is like, this is like ASMR right now, isn't it? Yeah, Darren Jones is asking, how many eggshells do you need? Oh, well, it's really up to the person. Um, if you can only get hold of one eggshell, or if you want loads, then awesome. Um, I personally like quite a bit of eggshell in my spells, mostly because I like the aesthetic of having loads of eggs in my little jar. But one eggshell is enough to do um, anything. That's the that's another thing when it comes to witchcraft. Uh, from what I've learned, I'm very new to this. Um, from what I've learned is that you don't need to have an abundance of one thing. Uh, so you don't need to have six billion eggs. You don't need to have twelve billion candles. You don't need to have um, four rose petals or something like that. It can be one, it can be six, it can be whatever you want. As long as, you know, you're able to at least get your hands on something, it will work. Uh, as long as you have your intent behind it. Ruth, Ruth, lovely Ruth is asking, who's eating all the eggs to supply you with the eggshells? <laughs> well, we did actually have an omelette night <laughs> at one point. Um, and then also... We do, we do like, well, I love eggs and noodles, so as in I've been sticking those in, and Pa loves his egg sandwich, so he's been having a few of those. Uh, Mystery Muggle, um, I guess Owen, has um, said, is there a spell for anxiety or a spell for healing that you do next week? Ooh, well, we already have next week's spell planned out. However, um, I can talk about what kind of... Um, I can, I, yeah, I'll mention that next week, I think, because next week is all going to be about bringing positivity into the workplace, um, but also the workplace can give a lot of people anxiety and uh, it can be a cause for a lot of people's upset. So it'd be interesting to talk about that, um, but I do know there is a few spells out there, um, mostly involving crystals. Uh, people don't realise that amethyst, which is why I love it so much, is the fact that amethyst is just brilliant. I love amethyst so much. I know I'm going on a bit of a tangent, but amethyst, you can use that for uh, mental well-being. You can use that to bring happiness into your life. You can use that for most stuff. It's fantastic. Right. DJ Graham is just asking, do you have to wash the eggshells? Um, you don't have to. It can be um, however you want them. However, I would say I did. I did wash the eggshells, mostly because you don't, you don't really want, like, gooey bits like whilst you're doing your spell um but like i said just as long as they're cleanish 
um, make sure that they're not, you, you don't want gunk or yolk in your spell. <laughs> I don't think anybody really wants yolk in their spell, but um, there we go. I think I've got mine to quite a fine sort of thing there. The disabled uh, ghost paranormal group has said uh, that uh, they do use amethyst all the time. Amethyst is just amazing. I love it. And on, like, I think a lot of people overlook amethyst because it is, I'd say probably one of the beginners um, yeah, sort of crystals. If you can have, um, uh, they, can, you can, they can see how, how well you're crushed. These are my eggshells so far. So there's a few little big bits in there, but most of it is quite fine. It's quite relaxed. I'll do a little bit of a sprinkle there. Ooh, look at that lovely stuff. Um, so I'm gonna give it a few more crunches and then we are almost done with my eggshells anyway. I hope that you guys are all okay as well. I mean, this is another thing is when it comes to this, it's, it's a preference of someone's path. For example, you might not want your eggshells to be as fine as mine. You might want yours to be as chunky as hell. You might you want yours to be literally the size of that. And if you want that, that's fine. That's awesome. You go for it. Now, next part. If you've got your eggshells all crunched up to as well as you want them to, you're going to take your jar and you are going to want to put your eggshells into the jar like so, like that. So you've got a nice like covering there, which is gonna be the base of it. Um, I think eggshells, they are fantastic in most spells, um, mostly because um, they can really, they, they, they add a level of protection, not only to your spell and yourself, but also to your mental attitude. Um, so your mind is all protected, which is fantastic. Right, next step, let's have a look. So, we are now going to add our rosemary. Um, so if you're gonna pop that open. Just while you're opening that, Cheryl Lewis. <laughs> Kirsty Lewis and I ate a lot of eggs this week to prepare for this. <laughs> Brilliant. An eggs fiesta. You know what, that's gonna be so many different things. I'm gonna be like, right guys, it's omelet night because we need eggshells for next spell. Now, when it comes to the rosemary, um, when it comes to the rosemary, once again, it's up to you. I like to add just a towel, sort of like a nice little dibble dabble of that. So it kind of coats the sort of eggshells there. Give it a little bit of a stir around so as in. It's kind of finely sitting on top, but it's also kind of mixing in with the eggshells as well. Um, now, once you've done that, get rid of that. You are going to want to, by the way, I'm reading in my little, my little sort of journal that I've been, um, uh, writing in uh, all my spells and stuff. So now, also just ask you, sweet. Sorry, just to interrupt. You said, "Is it true wearing something red is protection?" Um, I think that also it depends on the intent behind that. Anything can be used as a spell. Uh, things are more powerful um, when done correctly. However, if you have intent behind something being red and it bringing you love, and you have the intent behind that then why not? Um, like I said, I'm very new to this. Uh, there'll be a few questions that I can't answer. Um, but I always think that if you charge something correctly um, and you charge it with positive energy and give the intention that you want, you can use anything to protect or bring yourself somebody. John Cope is asking, <laughs> can you use fresh rosemary? You can use fresh rosemary. You can use any rosemary um, at all. Uh, you can use as much as you little. As long as there's just a little bit of rosemary in there, you're awesome. I mean, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, I can't read. There you go. Those are my rose petals. So we've got those there. And now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put those there. We are going to add those to our jar, like so. There we are. So they're looking pretty fine and dandy in there. Brings a bit more colour to the eggshells, doesn't it? Yes, yes, yes. yes, it does. yes. It brings colour. <laughs> Stop it. So now that we've done that, now this is what we spoke about before previously onto here. When it comes to sealing things, um, making sure things are charged, um, it's all about intent and positive energy, uh, which is why I'm going to show you the candle again. Here it is, chilling there, you can see it glowing right there. Now that for me, fire is the element that does call out to me most, just because I think it is warm, um, it is loving. I think that if you use it wrong, it can burn a house down, but at the same time, if you use it right, it can warm you up on a cold day. Um, I think that it's, 
marvelous. So that that that's the element that I usually use. Now, when it comes to simply charging something, um, I usually like to take an energy from a candle and transfer that into a jar. Um, so I think that all you need to do is focus on your candle if you have it. And quite happily, just imagine the idea of this bringing you the love that you want, your soulmate, whoever you think. And if you've already got a partner, think about your bond growing stronger with them. Because um, that's also something, I got a few questions on that. People going, well, hang on a minute. I've got a husband, I've got a wife, I've got a boyfriend or a girlfriend. I, I don't know if I can join, join in with this. Um, but as long as you can use this, this in itself is an attracting love spell. Like I said before, now this does not have to just attract new people. It can attract more love from the ones that you already love, if that makes sense. Um, so by using the positive energy from whatever you want to use, even if it's yourself, you're going to use that and you're going to charge this little jar um, to make sure that it brings more love your way. If it's from a stranger, if it's from your partner, whatever. It might even reawaken you some, it might even reawaken you guys tonight, I was about to say. <laughs> That sounds a bit strange. Um, so yeah, now. Just if we're gonna, Beth, Beth has asked, did you clean your um, your jar pre live stream? Yes, I did. I did. I think um, I think it's always good to have a clean jar. As in, that's <laughs> sorry, immature. But no, when it if you're gonna use things like this, um, I think it's like with crystals or anything. You would not, or or just a normal plate. You wouldn't eat your dinner on a dirty plate. You know, you wouldn't make um you wouldn't you wouldn't no you, you need to clean your jar um but um also when it comes to cleansing jars i think that it is cleansing jars can be some of the most relaxing sort of um thing you can do with spells um at the end of the day when it comes to incense you can cleanse them in moonlight in sunlight whatever it is and um and that sort of stuff i think is really important um, luckily enough, when it comes to your jars, and because, once again, this is not a negative spell, this is a positive one, and I know that you always have to cleanse things as well. However, because this is a very simple spell, even if, even if you have not cleansed your jar, it is fine. Do not worry. It's all good. Do not worry. So, now, what? <laughs> what are you smiling at? <laughs> and took it to bath. Oh, anyway, so now we are getting to the exciting bit. I love doing this bit. Right, I'm going to make sure I don't get any wax on my book. Now, the candle that has been burning for a while, stick it on a plate so that the wax doesn't dribble anywhere. You're going to seal it like so. Now, this is going to be the interesting part. Okay, now, where did the thing go? Oh, candle thingy thing, 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 thing. Oh, it's disappeared into the void. Uh, the candle putter router. So that disappeared into the void. <gasps> no! Yay! Thank well, you. Been it's been moved. In the house of BT, things been moved. Now, you're going to want to put your candle out like so. Lovely stuff. And you're going to want to dribble your wax all around your jar, which is the fun bit. I enjoy doing this bit the most because it is very, very fun. And it can get very messy, which is probably why I enjoy it a lot as well. So now that is all nice and sealed. Look at that snazzy thing. And there you go. Now, what are you going to want to do with this? With love, with love spells and uh, attracting love and all that sort of stuff, you want to put it somewhere that is warm and friendly. So like most things, we stick it on a windowsill. Um, let it have some nice, uh, bleh, some nice sun rays um, and stuff like that. So stick it on a window shield. So what is going on with me today? What is happening? I can't speak. You need a spell speaking. Spell speaking. I need to, anyway. Yeah, so stick this on your window sill. And it's all good. Oh, that was quite exciting. Do you reckon Johnny Depp's going to turn outside my house now? Oh, God. He's already there. I won't let me. Oh, really? Why not? <laughs> is it because he loves me too much? It's, yeah, it's because I... Exactly. Now, before we go on to our next spell, which is probably... One of the, this was the first ever one that I did, um, and you were watching Ma because you got very excited. Which is the, it's a spell to reveal your soulmate's um, initial first initial of their name, which is fantastic. So I'm quite excited for that. But before we go on, is there any questions? Yeah, you've actually got some very uh, some, some nice um, um, 
very nice comments uh, generally, but uh, you've got a little bit of a problem with Hazel Armstrong because she has obviously said, sorry, Mary, but Johnny Depp's hers. <gasps> It's fine, we can share him. We can share him. You can have his no. his right arm and I'll have the rest of him. There we go, sorted, done. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> yeah, this, I mean, Emma Foster says something lovely. She said, these videos will go down in history, Mary. Keep up the great work. Oh, thank you very much. That's really, really lovely. I'm, I'm, I love doing this. I don't. I feel like I've got a small little family that's that's kind of joining along and going fantastic. Um, now, oh, before I go on with the next belt, I did want to talk about something with you guys, um, mostly because most times after I, um, uh, after I do these, or even a couple of days after, I do get a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, direct messaging me. Um, on uh, Facebook, Instagram, um, to the point where I, I actually can't uh, reply to all of them. And to reply to some of them isn't fair to others. So what I was thinking was every single time that I finish doing one of these little episodes, I'm going to put a post up on Facebook and Twitter. Um, and I'm going to say, I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. So therefore I can try and... Um, try and um, uh, answer as many as I can. And if I can't answer some, then hopefully other people in the community can answer those. Uh, Wicked Witches uh, of the West asks, do you ever use wands? Now, that's a very, very good question um, because uh, in the first ever episode that we did of these, um, I actually, a few, oh God, it must've been a few weeks before then even, I went out and I went to go and uh, pick my wand, which was all, it was, it was kind of finding the tree that called to you and asking permission from the tree and, and so on and so forth. So yes, I do have a wand. Am I using it right now? No, I want to focus more on learning, doing simple spells. And then when I get to the more complicated stuff, when I will need a, um, a wand, that is when, uh, that's when I will show you guys it because right now it kind of uh, looks a bit sorry for itself. I need to make sure that it looks all snazzy and nice. <laughs> uh, Beth is asking, have you made an altar or are you planning to make an altar? That is a very good question. Um, I think when it comes to altars, I think a lot of um, Wiccans and I think it, pagans, they also use that uh, to worship certain, um, worship certain beings. Um, worship certain gods um, and things like that but um, for now like I said I want to focus on learning 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 and when it comes to making an altar I want to research as much as I can um, in order to in order to make sure I'm doing the right thing because that's the one thing that a lot of people have been saying is there is no rush when it comes to practicing witchcraft. There is no rush whatsoever. Um, it can take 10 years for somebody to do certain things. They can be, um, you know, it can take a few months if you rush everything. I don't want to rush anything. I don't want to rush into building anything until I have done all the research. Um, so, yeah, no, and I think it's all about finding research first. Right. I think just before you go, um, this is a, a really good question. Uh, two can play at that, has said. Uh, do you now leave... Oh, my God, I've lost you. Where have you, where have you gone? Uh, sorry, <laughs> it's all good. Uh, that's it. Do you now leave the jar sealed forever, or will you open it up to uh, and reuse the jar again after a period of time? What is the length of time you need to leave it sealed for? When it comes to sealing jars, they need to be sealed indefinitely. Um, and when I say indefinitely, for me, I won't be opening that jar at all. If your jar breaks or if uh, it accidentally smashes and stuff, don't worry, you are not going to, um, you're not going to end up summoning the devil into your home. All you need to do is get rid of that and you can make a new one. Um, now, obviously, when you feel like a spell has maybe done its job or you actually go, hang on a minute, um, you know what, I have done this, uh, uh, this attracting love spell and I don't want to, um, to have that anymore because I found the love of my life or something like that. That is when you can safely dispose of it. Uh, just make sure you are doing that with positive intent because as soon as you think to yourself oh well negative 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 once again you're feeding negative feelings into the universe into that and what was made on 
positive energy and it will come back to you. So just if you need to get rid of a spell, do it positively, do it nicely, do it friendly. Um, so yeah. Just before we continue, Lynn has asked um, uh, uh, if we can read her message out and say hello to Mary. Hello, Lynn. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. How are you? It's nice to see you. Nice to hear a Lynn as well. I love that name, Lynn. It's a lovely name. Um, right, now, we will be going on to what I call the Soulmate Initial Spell. It sounds very, very complicated and lovely. Now, if any of you guys follow me on Twitter, um, you'll know that I tweeted about a candle. And I swear to God, this is the candle. It smells so nice. Um, but also, it's pink, which is amazing. And what we will be using for today. Now, before we do anything, we are going to light your pink or your red candle up like that. And we're going to leave that to get as much wax as possible in it because we're going to need quite a little bit of it. So, yeah. Now, before you do that, you're going to grab your water that you've got. Now, this is rainwater. I've been collecting this for the past two weeks, which has been very on and off. For one minute it is going for it, the next it is not. Um, so I've got my rainwater. You guys can use any water that you so wish. If you don't have rainwater, it will suffice. Don't worry about it. Uh, I just prefer to use this as it can be seen as being more accurate. So I'm going to get my rainwater and I'm going to put it into my bowl, which I have here. So it's all nice and in there, fantastic. Lovely stuff. Now we need to wait for, um, we need to wait for... When you do it, I'll lift that up so you can... <gasps> yeah, I'm gonna wait for the doodah to, to, to burn you first. You tell me when you want me, so everyone can see it. Thank you. Um, so yeah, does anybody, whilst, whilst we're, I feel like I've been saying that a lot, whilst we're waiting for things to happen. <laughs> well, Chris Homer seems to think that you need your own, uh, you need your own show. <laughs> I Which think, I agree. Oh, that's really lovely. That if is really, really lovely. Company that could give you one. <laughs> if only, if only I knew an amazing director. Uh, 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 Emily Nicholson has, has said, "How is uh, the best? Uh, how, how's best to start learning all the things witchcraft? What's a good starting point? And also, you're wonderful. Uh, you're wonderful watching this. Oh, that's so lovely. Thank you so much. Um, well, I started learning from researching stuff. Uh, this book that I have has most of the stuff. Ooh, don't want to spill anything this book that i have right here this has most of the stuff that i've been revising uh learning researching research is the one thing you will start doing and you will never stop um because at the end of the day as soon as you start to research something you go into a spider web of so many different topics um for example in my little book, I've covered I've covered tree bark, herbs, um, I've covered different types of candles, um, and then that leads on into so many other bits of bobs, so a candle scent can sometimes influence certain things, um, and so on and so forth, even from different types of petals that you use, for example, our rose petals that we just use, um, and different kinds of flowers, different types of uh, dirt, different everything. Everything when it comes to using something witchcraft, which is from nature, has a connotation. Um, so I just think to myself, if you're going to start witchcraft, research, research, research. And if you feel confident enough, which is what I feel doing, do very simple, very small spells, um, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, so, yeah, as in just be safe. And uh, Derek Harper has said um, he collects snow. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic. I know that um, there are a lot of different, for example, snow can be used in different spells as, long, uh, as well as different sands. So sands from different beaches can do different things in different spells. And I think that is amazing. Um, so yeah, and I think yeah, I, I, I love learning about different bits and bobs. But like I said, and I will keep on saying this probably till the day I die, I am very new to this. Well, probably not till I die a dog, because I'll be very, very old. But, <laughs> but you know what I mean? I am very new to this right now. There will be a lot of things that I don't know, a lot of things that I do know. And you guys will probably be thinking to yourself at some point during one of these videos, um, oh, God, she's doing that wrong. Um, so I am a beginner. I'm going to make mistakes. Um, but when I've been showing you guys these spells and asking you to join along, I have cross-checked everything. I would never just turn around and say, right, get this, get this, get this just on um, Googling something, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Um, uh, Shirley Kelly has said uh, this is the first time she's caught you live. She said, so interesting, so much to learn. 
so many, uh, she's got so many herbs in her garden. Oh, fantastic. Uh, and this is amazing. Thank you, Mary. You're fab. Um, now, um, thank you. Uh, where are we? Well, it's a uh, disabled ghost uh, paranormal group, which we heard from earlier. Has asked, what book do you use? Oh, that's a very good question. Do you mind scooting those towards me? So, this is the main one that I'm reading right now. It is a big book. I mentioned it uh, last week. Um, and this was the first book I ever showed you guys. Um, this was kind of the first book that ever introduced me into witchcraft, which was amazing. And this book right here, uh, I have been reading very recently. But it is one big ass book. So as in, it's taking me a while to get through it. However, it is called A Witch's Bible, The Complete Witch's Handbook uh, by Janet and Stuart Farrar. Um, so those guys are fantastic. I think they write really well. Um, but even when it comes to books like this, I will, once again, I've said this, cross-check your research because what somebody says in here might not be correct somewhere else. So make sure you do a lot of research uh, before you commit to one person. Is everything okay over there? <laughs> no, I, we, we, we just have somebody mentioned that, that, um, uh, that, that witchcraft is a lifetime uh, thing and it's... Uh, uh, I can't remember, I had it here, but your mum decided to, to, to move the... <laughs> and I lost it completely, so well, I have no idea. to whoever said that witchcraft is a lifetime thing, you are correct. It's yeah, the it's same as... So much potential, endless potential. Oh, God, yeah. As in, endless it's a, possibility. Endless possibility. I think at the end of the day, um, whenever it comes to anything that you believe in, there is endless, possi po endless possibility. Um, mostly because I think to myself... If you believe in something, you are constantly learning your belief. You are constantly thinking, um, well, how can I make this better? How can I make uh, Y, C and A better? Because I haven't perfected that in ages. So, yeah, the candle's taking ages to get wax. But we will get there. We will get there eventually. Uh, Beth, Beth has said she has a list of about 20 books that she wants to purchase. Oh, uh, but she just um, go, yeah, goes through one at a time. <laughs> and now, Jay asked, is there any spell that you haven't done that you'd like to do or learn? Ooh. Um... Ooh, well, there is one that I have been looking into, which is to um, bring more ambition into your own mind, which sounds very, very long for just making you more of an ambitious person. However, to kind of give your body a bit of a kickstart, um, if you haven't got that ambition already or that drive to do something, uh, I've been looking into that. However, it's very difficult because so many people say to do it different ways. There are so many different ways to do certain things. Um, but it's very annoying in a sense because I just want to find the facts of three different things and then try and somehow make it my own. So, yeah. Uh, Alan Wel Welton has kindly reposted <laughs> the post I lost. And it was, um, he said, witchcraft is a lifelong um, uh, endeavour. There, so uh, there are no experts because there are, no, there are infinite possibilities. After 30 years, he, he still considers himself a novice. Oh, fantastic. You see, that's that, but that shows to me very, very, very humble, first off. But th thank you very, very much. But um, when it comes to, like I said before, you are constantly learning, and I think that that will humble a lot of people. It's kind of the same in a sense with uh, learning about anything of the paranormal because there's a lot of open possibilities, there's a lot of beliefs with this, with that, with that, which ties into so much else. It's a constant learning process. Um, which is amazing. Now, I think I've got, oh, I think we'll give a, a, just a couple more questions and then um, we'll go to the next spell, if there is any. Oh, there's, 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 there's lots around. <laughs> God bless. Stuart's saying you have a natural charisma. Oh, thank you very much, Stuart. Um, right, so we've got, um, uh, Beth has said that she's, this is just talking about the book, she said mm. she struggled to try and find a copy of Enchanted for a reasonable price. Where did you get yours from, Mary? Well, that was the thing is when it it's came old. to huh? This is, this is my copy. Exactly. Years old. See this copy right here. This, believe it or not, belonged to my mum. So yeah, I was, once upon a time, mum was actually looking into this as well, um, and she very kindly said that um, I could have it, and that was a while back. But this. That's Thirty years. It must be twenty-five. Twenty-five, thirty years old. Yeah. Um, but I actually have noticed a lot of people um, posting about it saying that 
some copies are six pound and then another is 200 pound and stuff like that which i find uh, eric harper said there's uh, uh, is, is that uh judicus book uh the five thousand spell it, it's uh, the five thousand spells it's good the judicus book the five thousand spells uh, yeah. well, i judicus, will now is a, is a question mark after the judicus oh book. i uh, I, no, not to my knowledge. I don't know. Deborah Robbins needs a happy birthday, please. Happy birthday, Happy Deborah. birthday, Deborah. 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 Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. This is 20 years old. 20 years old, 20 years old. Yeah. Right, okay, now. I think it's just one of these things that you just got to keep looking because Karen is saying that she got the Enchanted book on eBay for £3. Yeah. So, as in, I know for a lot of people saying on Amazon, people were selling it for like £200, and then other people saying they managed to get it on eBay for £6, £4. So I think it's just trying to find, uh, just keep on looking. And at the end of the day, there are a lot of other books out there that are similar to that one. It's, that is just what I prefer. That is the first book, book I ever used. That is just something I enjoy reading. Um, and also it's the thing that my mum passed on to me. That makes it sound like you're dead. <laughs> passed to me, which was um, amazing. Mystery Muggle again, it said the Encyclopedia of 5,000 Spells is from the works and it's, it's 20 pounds, uh, ah. apparently. Um, I, shall have a, I, shall, I shall research into this. Yeah, now. Uh, there was another one I was gonna say, I've lost it again, sorry. It's all good. Sorry. Now, I think our candle has been burning quite nicely. Well, does anyone else in your in your family do witchcraft apart from my mother-in-law? Uh, Ma actually did practice uh, a bit of witchcraft uh, beforehand. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Right, now what we're going to do is Ma did practice it, but um uh I think I'm more of the physical spell. Hello, everybody. My dad is currently controlling the camera. Now, what we are going to be doing is, you're going to see my candle right here, which is snazzily doing away. Now, we are going to snuff that out like so. Now, oh, Jesus, you don't want to go out, do you? There we go. Now, this is the quick bit because it takes a while. What we're going to do is, we are going to dribble the wax into the water and see what initial it comes out with. So mine... That looks like a C to me. Does that look like a C to you? Does that look like a C to you? I think that's a pretty clear C. It's like a prawn. <laughs> a prawn? Do you think that looks like a C, though? Yeah, it's getting a C, yeah. Yeah, that's actually quite snazzy. Fantastic. Um, so, yeah, that is the initial of my supposed soulmate. I'm very excited. This is where I go on like Tinder or something and I swipe only no, on C's. <laughs> <laughs> well. So yeah, that is my initial and I don't want to break it. But I'm oh, hey, Armstrong is laughing at you. Oh, is she? Because it's not Johnny Depp. That is very... Well, what, right. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe Johnny Depp's secret name is Charlie. So Kathleen Cook is saying it's definitely a C. Definitely a C. Ruth is also saying not Johnny Depp yet, then. Well, you never know. It, it could be a secret name. Oh, Kelsey's saying could be Connie Depp. Connie Depp. There we go. Long lost. Could be, an N. Could be That's true. It could be an N. I first saw kind of... Then it... Yeah. Could I be. think it's a C. Though. I think it's a C. I need to start looking out for people, people's initials with C now. Who do we know that begins with a C? Do we know anybody that begins with a C? No. no. No, oh, that helps. Well, there we go. So we've done two of our spells, which is fantastic. Um, the reason why that is called a spell is because we use a certain type Charles of... Charles Manson. Who's that? Charles Manson. Who's Charles Manson? Let's not bring negativity into this, darling. Just... He, he oversaw a lot of killings in there. Yeah. Right, that's yeah. really lovely. Positivity, positivity vibes. Let's relight the candle. Positivity, light that candle. Positivity, positivity. <laughs> Don't need no negativity in here. Oh, look at that candle going mental. See, it needs that positivity. <laughs> um, so no, the reason why that was called a spell is because we are using a certain oh, type. Yeah. The C is for Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh, yes! He came up with that one. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Oh, and, oh, oh, he did play Willy Wonka in Charlie and the Chop. Froth. Sorted, what? I must have got with, or could be Chucky. <laughs> Chucky. 
Chucky. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> if we find a killer doll, <laughs> I'm not going to be happy. The in the flight. No, could you? Uh, I'm Chucky. Do you want to play? <laughs> anyway, sorry. That was called a, uh, a spell um, because we use a certain type of candle colour to dictate what information and knowledge it brings to us, uh, which is why it calls itself a candle, which is a candle, Jesus, a spell. What is going on with me today? I'm having a bit of a ramble today, guys. Um, but no, I'm quite happy with that. Look at my C. That's actually quite a snazzy little C. Hang on. This is where we I'm have people, We have some that, that apparently the only get the middle name is Christopher. Apparently. Yeah, John. Yeah, Jonathan, Johnny Christopher Depp. Yeah, because I think his father's name was Christopher, something like that. Maybe mm. it's his father. No, <laughs> <laughs> we don't want the father. We want we want Johnny. Anyways, I really really enjoyed that. That was really positive, and I really liked it. Um, and I hope that I haven't broken up any couples <laughs> doing that because imagine if you've been if if oh god if you've got a different initial from your wife or your partner, I think it might just be, maybe you didn't intend <laughs> for the best thing to happen. <laughs> or, you know, maybe it's a platonic soulmate. Who knows? I'm saying that to kind of, you know, make sure nobody's too upset. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no, fantastic. I really enjoyed that, and I hope that you guys um, enjoyed it too. Um, uh, Dodo H is saying they got a G, and they think it's for Gerald, Gerald Butler. Oh, I don't know who that is either. You don't know who Gerard Butler is? No. He's an actor. You don't know who Gerard... 300? No? What? Law Abiding Citizen? No. He's an actor. Scottish guy. Really good actor. No. Wow. Right. Well, I, th these random people that keep on popping up, no idea who Gerard Butler is. And someone is, is, is actually saying that your, um, your soulmate... Doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. It could just be a friend. Oh God, yeah. As in, I call my best friend Abby. I call her um, a platonic soulmate. So, as in, just somebody that I vibe with in the right way. We get each other very, very well. Uh, we were meant to meet, but not in a romantic sense. I always, I always kind of mention her as that. And also, you know, Laura and Gemma, and those are kind of like my soulmate people. Anyways. Going on on a tangent, I think it's time that we uh, say goodbye now. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, before I do, um, I did mention we have a spell for next week. Uh, once again, keeping it simple. Um, now, this is going to be, a lot of people are going back to work, and if you work for the NHS or you are an essential worker, you already have been working through this. Um, and I think that now more than ever, we need positivity within the workplace. If you're going back, or if you are continuing to work, or even if you're not working, you know, save this spell for when you next need it. You will be needing a jar. You're going to be needing some dried orange peel, some ginger, basil, rosemary, and a blue ribbon if you can find any. If you can't find any blue ribbon, a piece of string will do, or a white ribbon will do. Um, so fantastic, we are going to be doing that tomorrow. Um, uh, for people who don't realise, blue is always great for workplace and work-related things as it uh, kind of takes with thinking, studying and concentrating. Um, and we're going to be doing that next week along with talking about um, maybe relieving some mental stresses you guys have as well. Um, I think everybody gets a little bit stressed with everything that's going on right now. But apart from that, um, I think we're all set. So yeah, if you guys want to follow me, I made a new Twitter account. It's Mary MBT. That is my username. Um, my Instagram is Mary MBT, and my Facebook is Mary. Then the letters M H E, which is where I'm going to be posting all the witchcraft stuff, um, so you guys can get involved, which is amazing. Um, James so, has just sent you a five and said, "Blessed, blessed be." Yay! Oh, thank you so is much, there, James. Man? Thank you. That's really, really lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. And just to tell everyone, I'll be here tomorrow night at nine o'clock. So for my a chat, a live chat. Ooh, my papa's going to be here. Might be in the same sort of setting for tomorrow. a live chat at nine o'clock tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. So you might be seeing, you might, you might, you might be seeing just me 
walking around and making a nuisance of myself as per usual. I've done that for the last 20 years. Mean. Right, okay, now, not going to drag this on any longer. Thank you so much, guys, for joining in. Um, thank you. It means a lot that you guys are enjoying this. Um, I'm going to be posting on Facebook a little bit later, so you guys, if you have any questions, please let me know that, and I will try and respond as best as I can. Um, so other than that, I think it's time to say goodbye. Thank you so, so much, and blessed be... And see you guys next week, next Wednesday. Goodbye, 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 goodbye.